you hear about the uh, former lead singer of the Lost Prophets? Scumbag. Rapey McRaperson. Yeah. What a fucking absolute doorbag. Like, there's he, he, pedos and then there's that. Like, yeah, he makes Jimmy Savile look sort of, you yeah. know, just, just an old school romantic. Jerry was planning on blowing meth smoke into the baby's faces and all to get them high before he did it and all this crazy shit. Like, fucking lookies. Like, apparently he told her and told uh, the girl that, like, if you're with me, your baby's with me. Yeah, that's a weird statement. I saw that. It's like there's ne- there would never be a situation in my life where that would be something I would ever ever want to say. No. If anything, like if you got with a girl who had a baby, like you would often say something like, uh, "Just because you're with me doesn't mean I'm your fucking baby's daddy." Get that thing away from exactly, you. Exactly. Yeah. It is. Do you know what? What's shocking about it? There's so much evidence. Like he filmed fucking everything, emails, yeah. text messages. Yeah, he also said that um, he it wasn't him in the video, that it was um, it was Photoshop or something they tampered with the video to make it look like it was him. They got the CGI guys from Lord of the Rings. Weta. That's it, the Weta, Weta Studios. They digitally enhanced and inserted a ponce into the video. <laughs> what pisses me off is the stupid fucking people who just keep putting pictures up of their children, like babies. Like, oh, look, my baby did this, my baby did that. I don't give a shit. Come back to me when he's got a PhD or he cures cancer. Fuck you, Andrew. You're not, you're not talking about the pedophile anymore? No, 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 I'm not talking about the pedophile. Well, it's kind of linked to that because I saw one of these claims on Facebook <laughs> yeah. linking it like, oh, the dirty bastard, if he tried to do it to my child, I'd kill him and all this stuff. Yes. Like, like you go near your child and it's ugly. It looks like it's got fucking syphilis or something. Oh, I just... I have a good story for you. Come on, tell us. This is on Facebook a while back, right? It was one of them yeah. school shootings in America. Uh, and everybody was devastated about it the next day, right? And mm-hmm. a friend of mine put a post up about it, and he had a few comments from friends of his, people I didn't know. But one of them, one woman, right, she said, when she woke up and saw the news, she was devastated. But the only thing she's thankful for is that it wasn't a school for special children, because that would have been absolutely heartbreaking. So, so kids with special needs being shot, it's sadder <laughs> than kids that don't have special needs. I mean... This is going to sound really, really harsh, but like... There's like a level of pedo. You kind of graduate from one level to another, I think. Yeah. And he's like, he's top pedo. Like, he's the king of the pedos. He replaces the Pope. Like, you know? I always... Like what you said, there's, there's, there's grades of pedophile. Yeah. I, I always say that, and I always get shot down for it. People are like, no, oh. no, rape is rape, and pedophile is pedophile. In America... Right? You could have sex with your like seventeen year old girlfriend and that's it, you're a pedophile. Yeah. You're in the oh, same definitely, yeah. You're in the same fucking group as this monster. Like I, I don't know, I could be wrong with this, but the likes of Jimmy Savile. We're not talking about kids, we're talking about young women, aren't we? Yeah, like teenage kind of Yeah. Okay, let's say there was a twelve year old girl, right? Mm-hmm. That's terrible. That's yeah. there's no fucking excuse in that, right? But if we're talking about the nineteen seventies and we're talking about a 17-year-old girl, mm-hmm. which that there are 17-year-old girls coming out of the woodwork now who are obviously in that and whatever, 30s and 40s now. Um, I don't want to hear their stories because they're no. groupies. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying because it was the 70s, you know, you have to excuse certain things. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is they lived in an area where that was kind of normal. People like him, even though he looked like a freak, even when he was younger, he looked like a freak. He was a rock star. Yeah. And people like him back then were fucking rock stars, and these girls were clamoring over them every fucking day after whatever gig they were doing. Yeah, you know what I mean? also, what was the age of consent? I, yeah, I don't actually know. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, what pisses me off is when, like, stu- like, being 18 to drink. Okay, if you're 17, before midnight, the day, like, so let's say my birthday was the 28th of November. Yeah. Right? And <clears throat> I turn 18 tonight, all right, at midnight. Yeah. Why is there a difference when literally when one second passes that yeah. I, all of a sudden I'm mature enough to drink? If two seven, if a seventeen year old and an eighteen year old decide to buy him, it's not it's not a big deal. No, you know what I mean, but technically that would be seen as statutory rape because one of them was, and it could be a day younger or two days younger. You're still counted as a rapist. It's the kind of thing where uh, you end up in the sex offenders register for various crimes now. And yeah. there, there should be different registers. <coughs> there was a thing in one yeah. of the, there was a film I seen. I don't know which one it was. I think it might have been Horrible Bosses or something like that. Um, yeah. Somebody, somebody mentions they had a friend who 
or was it one of the guys and he had a slash at a bush or something? Or it was a, a park. It was a park yeah. at my kid's park. And that's it, he's on the sex offenders register now. Yeah. That's that's pretty much a true story. Do you know what I mean? I know yeah. well I don't know personally what that happened to, but I know someone who their brother or their cousin or something. Same thing. He was at a party. Went outside for a piss in a bush and cops were driving by. Bang. Mm-hmm. Sex offenders register. For life. He's a sex offender. It's because it sounds weird to turn around and say, you know, there needs to be a, there just needs to be, I think, discretion used when you're talking about something like that. Because because there is a huge difference between raping a baby and yeah. having sex with a 17 year old. Or, or having sex with a 25 year old who was so drunk that she can't remember it the next day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There was, what, there was a case here a couple of months ago where the taxi driver, did you hear that one? No. He basically hooked up with this girl. She was a customer. He drove her to where she was yeah. going, and whatever happened, one thing led to another, and they hooked up. And as far as he's concerned, everything was legit. They even mm-hmm. exchanged phone numbers. She decided the next day, oh, I've been raped. She goes to the guards, this is what he looks like, blah, blah, blah. And they were saying, that's grand, we'll put out a fucking APB or whatever they call it over here. And she was like, no, no need. Here's an easy way to find them. I have his phone number. Jesus. There was a study today on the radio. <coughs> They've uh, d- discovered it's a that real kids, boring. <laughs> kids, kids who watch a lot of TV, yeah. uh, tend to be obese. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, what's his face? John Landis giving out about Hollywood. He's the guy who made uh, Blue Brothers. Really? What was he saying? And, uh, he, well, he agreed with like eighty percent of what he said. Strongly agreed with it. Yeah. Then the other twenty percent, he was saying things about like uh, he didn't think gravity was very good. Bitch. He thought it was just it was all about the spectacle. Uh, no, it's not at all, actually. Yeah, he he compared it to Avatar. What? Yeah. It's nothing like so, Avatar. So so the, the other eighty percent that I felt passionately in agreement with him, I just kind of said, "No, forget you." I was going to share it on Facebook. I was like, "Forget you, Landis. Yeah. For fucking get you." What else did he say? Oh yeah, he was offered. Brilliant. He was offered to direct Thor. Really? And he read. He saw the script. And he said, do I really want to dedicate the next three years of my life to making this? No thanks. I was like, fuck you. And also, oh God, he, they said, oh yeah, he's famous for making Blues Brothers. Did he also make Blues Brothers 2000? I don't know, did he? I don't know. If he did, he'd want to fucking hang himself. <clears throat> That's fine, now. I would say that gravity could not be further removed from Avatar than no. anything I've ever seen in my life. It's The storyline is so... There's so much depth to it. Yeah, fuck him. He did direct Blues Brothers 2000. He directed Blues Brothers 2000, and he's looking down yes. his nose at Thor. He also made Michael Jackson's number ones DVD, The Cronenberg Chronicles, Susan's Plan, Beverly Hills Cop 3. Oh, wow. What a fucking knob jockey. Kill yourself, you prick. I can't even remember what his good points were. It was, it was something to do with Hollywood's Basically, he doesn't want good ideas anymore. He just wants ways of making money and sequels and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. nothing, nothing you haven't really heard before. But he was, he was eloquent about it. Yeah. Um, and then he goes and he starts spilling all that shit. I was like, "To hell with you, you specky bastard!" Yeah. Fucking Jew. 